Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Blackfire. Now this here is Klein Tools. They wanted me to test and review this product. They sent me quite a few of them. A couple headlamps. Now this one here is the 6414. The other one they sent me here is a 6048. A little bit different setup as far as LEDs here. This one here has the multi-colored LED. So it's nice to see that option. Now this one here is very lightweight. Again, these packages aren't my favorite, but you really have to tear into them to get into them. But uh, this here, my understanding, puts out a total output of 800 lumens. We'll go over some of the red LED specs here. There's the specs here at 800 lumens, 600, 300, and 100 on this strobe. There's the band, USB charging cable. So that's what that looks like. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, open this up, see what's in. Again, you have to really tear these things open in order to get to them. Once you're able to do that, come apart pretty easy. Try to get the lamp out of here. Including the headband. And we got one charging cable in here as well. There's the Type C charging system and cable so that's nice there's the band nice adjustable and here's the band definitely more of a rubber textured here on the inside versus the outside but does say their name Now this is where the headlamp goes on to, but I'm not too sure what this is for. Now this here is magnetic, so once you lock it in, it's locked in. That's how that works. Easily adjust that. There's the inside, telling you the model number. Here's the charging port there. And it's on the side, so that's nice, versus one that are on the top. It's raining. Prefer them to be on the bottom, but ABS plastic body. Very nice. I use quite a few from Nightcore that have the ABS plastic because they're super lightweight and uh, less stress on my forehead. So that's what that looks like when it's on the band. Take a look here at the user manual. Maybe find out what that little side area is for. Alright, well, according to the manual here, that little adapter here is to hold a marker and a pencil. Interesting. You hold them both at one time. Never seen one with that on there, so that's kind of news to me. Nice manual. A lot of detail in that. Now, as you can see, there's the throwing LEDs in the center. And you have a cob LED, which is more pure flood. Again easily angle that where you want it. 
feels like it's got a, a little bit of a magnetic pole there. And with that Cobb LED, you want the full spectrum. You're not going to need to angle that too much. Now this band is on the small side. I do have a large head. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make this bigger. That's what happens when you have a larger head. Let me check this out, see if it'll fit me. So now, this fits my head a little snug. I may make it a little bit bigger, but this is nice. Now the ruggedness on this, because it is plastic, in my opinion, are a lot better than the metal ones because the metal ones get scratched up. These ones here, you don't see it too much. And these things here are pretty rugged. Never had any issues with some of the other plastic ones and I kind of prefer them for most instances that I'm using them for hands-free, especially on projects or as an extra light to have in case one of my other ones go out. I always carry a headlamp. Uh, normally I would take it apart, but this one here is a sealed unit. So now let's go ahead and uh, go through the UI. UI is pretty straightforward on this. We're just going to turn it on there. Now that's there is both LEDs on at one time. Show you the beam with that. See a nice little hot spot there. A lot of bleeding around the edge. Huge spill area here. Here I am way out past the light. So now we're going to go ahead and turn it off. Turn it back on. Okay, so now let me show you the battery level indicator here. We're going to switch the LED here to just the throwing beam. Now I don't know what the, the LEDs are. They don't specify. But there's just the throwing beam by itself. Tapering spill there. That's the same hot spot. Press down and hold again. We'll get you just the Cobb LED, which is pure flood. Large area. So now we're going to press down and hold again. Now you have the red LEDs. Now here's the battery level indicator there on the side. So when you do turn it off, you can see the battery level. Turn it back on so you're always aware of what your battery level is. Floody beam on that as well. Press down and hold again. Now we're back to both lights and that is the highest output that this light can do. Very nice. Easy. Press down and hold to go through those. Just the cob there. Just the red. Messes up with my camera. And that again is with both. Okay, so now that we've gone through the different LEDs, now we're going to show you the different light levels for each one. Simply go through the light outputs. That's off. Click it one more time. Once you have it on that light level for a while, it will shut the light off. That is a beacon. Click it one time, shuts it off. All right, so now we're gonna turn the light back on. We're gonna switch to the Cobb LED. That is the pure flood. You've got additional light outputs on this one. Again shuts it off, turn it back on. You could use one or the other so you can use it as a separate light or you can combine them all together. Press down and hold. Same goes for the red LEDs. You now can click on that as a 
beacon mode on this one and that shuts off. Two light outputs on the red LEDs and we're going to go ahead and turn the red LEDs back on, press down and hold. Now we've got all the LEDs on both combined LEDs on, you do not have any other light levels. Press down and hold. Now the beam performance on this is nice. It did well in my test, kind of was able to play with it in the package and uh, it passed my evaluation to bring here on my channel. These here are affordable, they are nice and well built. So now just a reminder this does have the quick release. Also a nice feature I was talking about the magnetic backing. You can use this as a hands-free light. Now this is nice because you can place it on a metal surface. You can also angle it on the metal surface. So great hands-free. It is a strong magnet on there. That is a very nice feature to be able to have two worlds, especially if you're camping, you want to stick this, you know, by itself without it on the band and use it as an emergency light. Huge plus in my opinion. All right. Well, let's wait no further. Let's take this outside. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the multicolored black fire headlamp on my head and we're going to go ahead and turn it on. It's the highest setting for both LEDs. As you can see it is raining out here and crazy weather. That's the beam on the fence. Nice spill area. I've got a cover on my camera, so hopefully this is just coming and going. That's the light I just tested and reviewed there. Just heavy to carry on my pants, so set it to the side for a minute. So now we're going to go ahead and do the different light outputs here. That is the throwing LED, still got good spill. 65 feet there to that tree there it is there water spout 38 feet it is making tree of life so you've got about a hundred and maybe 150 feet of good usable light output we'll do it here on the water spout show you the different light outputs you got to turn the light off if you have it on too long and there's the flashing. So now we'll turn it back on. Now we're going to do the cob LED. Just a huge area of light in front of you, way out to the sides. So, yeah, coming down pretty good now. So, Let's do the red LEDs here real fast. So we've got the red LED on. So you've got easily 8 to 10 feet of usable light output with this. And maybe about 15. That's about 12 to 15 feet to that fence. Well, pretty good. And now we're trying to go through the light outputs here. Now we got them both back on. This is the 800 lumen output there. Pan around one more time. I'm trying to keep my camera from getting wet out here. Almost didn't do the night shots. So, but I'm here. Okay, welcome back. Very nice beam performance. Uh, it is impressive, especially for this type. 
Um, I like the cob LED. Uh, the center LED does help with range, so you can easily get 150 feet with this, and this being on your head, using it as a backup light, riding a bike, it uses for a lot of features. Plus, you've got that hands-free, stick it on a metal surface, use it around the house. Can't beat that as well. USB rechargeable type C system gets you started and back up ready to go quickly. The type C has its benefits over the other ones because you can put it in either way. So that is a huge plus in my opinion. Now the red LEDs are definitely more for up close so they don't have a lot of throw to them. Overall build quality is nice. I'm not seeing any issues with their products and that's why they're being featured here on my channel. Now if this 6414 version of their product headlamp is something you are interested in getting. Remember it comes with everything you need including the built-in battery. I will leave a link in the description also working on a special discount code there as well to help you save some money on this even though it's already affordable as it is just in case you're interested in getting it. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these Blackfire headlamps to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.